I shall start my video as normal by going and getting my wood. This is a heck of a big piece of wood um, and this is the first video that I'm not going to be using scrap wood um, and this is the second birdhouse, uh, no sorry, the, the third birdhouse that I have made since lockdown began. Uh, so I'm all out of wood so we've been out to being cute and we bought this wood um, and I'm going to see if I can make a birdhouse out of it. If you have ever made a birdhouse, uh, you will probably know that the best place to start cutting uh, is for the back of the birdhouse um, because it does need to be slightly longer um, than the birdhouse itself so you can attach it to a wall uh, or a tree. Um, so along here is just 40 centimetres and the width of this wood is 15 centimetres. Next, I shall go and mark up the sides. Traditionally, on a birdhouse, um, the roof is sloping. Uh, so along here is going to be 30 centimetres. And then along this side here, this is only going to be 20 centimetres. Um, so when I go and take my ruler and join these two up, it will leave a slight sloping angle um, for the birdhouse roof. why um but this wood that we got seems to be very very um difficult to cut um and yeah i'm not entirely sure why but the wood just leaves all these absolutely massive splinters and it's really not the easiest to work with whatsoever So many splinters. <clears throat> I've already cut this at an angle here I can just uh, move this clamp and um, place this on and then I can draw a line there and it'll make sure that both of these side pieces are exactly the same. 
So I have cut this back piece and these two side pieces uh, so now I think what I'm going to do is make the base. Um, I haven't planned um, the base at all um, because I want to be able to measure along here because I want these sides to be on the outside of the back piece um, because I think if they were like inside there it's going to make the bird house really quite small and yeah I know bird are pretty diddy um but we want to be able to have um plenty of space in there so i'm just going to measure that now uh just something really really quickly um as you can probably tell this massive piece of wood here um isn't going to fit in my wee vise here um i haven't actually tried it in the workbench that i made in my previous video um i guess i could use that but it might be a bit difficult because this is really, really quite big. Um, but I could use the uh, collapsible workbench just there. Um, but I just decided to use two clamps. Um, and when the piece was a bit longer, I just pulled together uh, this really quickly so I could rest the piece on. Um, and these two clamps, uh, these two big F clamps, uh, seem to be completely fine for holding this in place pretty securely. So I've just cut the base off camera because I felt as though there were loads and loads of shots of me just cutting up pieces of wood um, and if I just stand it up so far, uh, well it's a bit difficult to, uh, to see um, but I have two more pieces to cut. I have the front to cut and I have the top to cut. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do before I cut those two pieces is I'm going to assemble uh, the birdhouse. I could I could use uh, some glue, but I reckon I can just uh, get away with using uh, some screws for this because there's not really going to be much weight on it. So I've just got um, this held together with some clamps while I drive in some little wood screws um, and that should be pretty much fine just to hold this all together. So I have just finished assembling this uh, just with some wood screws and uh, fortunately my box of screws has really gone down quite a lot thanks to this project. So I have just looked on the RSPB website and I've worked out for, um, for the hole in the front of the bird's house um, how big the hole needs to be. Um, so what I find out 
for small garden birds like blue tits and things, um, the hole needs to be 25 millimetres in diameter. Um, and for slightly larger garden birds, uh, for example, like sparrows, they uh, they need a hole of 28 millimetres. So I have... I made a bit of a guess because this birdhouse isn't actually for me. Um, I've decided to go with just a 25 uh, millimeter drill bit, so I should just, I just need to drill down into the front now, um, to make the hole. I'm just going to use a set square to try and make the hole as vertical as it can be. Right, I've got the front of the bird box with the hole in the front uh, clamped in the vise and I have a completely round file, um, so I'm just going to file out inside here. <laughs> I have just drilled a very small hole below the main hole of the entrance and um, I thought I would pop a little dowel inside there and I wanted it to stick out a bit so um, they could maybe sit outside and have a drink in the evening or something. Or do birds not drink? Um, I'm not sure. Right, so I'm just put a wee blob of glue on there and I'm just going to knock this in with a mouth. Right, once that dries that should be nice and solid and now I need to go and attach this piece to the main part of the birdhouse over there. So I designed this front so that it can just slide inside there and then I'm just going to screw it um, in there. And then again, I'll just use some wee wood screws to hold on the front. Right, I'm really, really pleased with this so far. Uh, it seems to be big and solid. Um, and it's looking good. I've just finished cutting uh, the top piece um, of the birdhouse off camera. I've got it here and that just sits on there. Now you'll probably be able to see that there is space either side from where the side pieces are. Um, and so unfortunately that doesn't quite fit either way. 
but it's okay because um, I'm going to put some felt uh, over the top of here um, which should sort of hang out over the side and it should protect these side bits. Um, the project is pretty much nearly done. Um, I'm obviously going to have to cut some felt size uh, for this bit and I was going to use a hinge but uh, I don't have that many hinges and um, to be honest I quite like having some hinges around so um, on birdhouses that I've made before I have just used some of the roofing felt uh, to use um, sorry to act as a hinge so when um when the season of bird nesting sort of comes to an end you can open this up and if there's been any birds nesting you can clean out um stuff um and then i'll make a little locking mechanism to hold this in place uh, during the nesting season I've just finished cutting uh, this felt. Um, it's not like that nice felt that you use when you're sewing. It's it's like uh, roof felt. Uh, I just used a Stanley knife uh, to cut it, and it would be really really difficult uh, just to um, cut it without any guide. So I used uh, a, just a spirit level um, as my straight edge. Um, ah, I, I could use some felt screws, uh, sorry, nails, to hold down the felt to, to the roof, but I think I might just use some dinky screws to hold it down, um, rather than risking splitting this wood with the big nails. In the end, I just scrapped the idea of using screws and moved on to using some felt nails. Before I can attach um, this uh, felt roof onto the birdhouse, I'm going to use some of this um, and I'm going to attach it underneath the felt, uh, which will allow um, someone to open up this um, at the end of the nesting season. Uh, so I'm going to cut two of these, uh, one for either side. Um, and then I'll just hold it in with some screws and then you can take out the screws and see if anyone to be nesting in it. Oh, I hate trying to get this stuff apart. It's so... Oh, man. I mean, it's five minutes and I still can't snip it. Oh, man. Oh man. I'm really, really pleased with this so far. And uh, now I just need to put a screw through there to hold this lid down. Just as a very, very quick demonstration. So there's a screw in there. And I can't I can't lift this off. So grab a screwdriver and impact driver. And remove that screw, and then that opens, and then, yep, you guessed it, to lock it, we have to put the screw back in. And now that isn't coming out. So, um, when we bought this wood, obviously it's untreated and we can't really just um, go and put it up uh, because it wouldn't really do well 
open to the element so we need to apply some sort of uh, finish to it and then it'll be ready for our little friends finish on the birdhouse i'm just going to use uh, some of this uh, decking um clear preserver um i quite like the color of this birdhouse so i did choose one um that we had lying around that was clear uh, so it stick with this color and then that completes the project thank you so much for watching today's tutorial um I really really enjoyed making this birdhouse and I think it would make a perfect addition to any garden. I only use very basic hand tools and basic skills and I think it is very well it is a very manageable manageable project. If you like this video please like and subscribe and the best thing that you can do to support me is share this video. Thanks and I'll see you on my next video.